Hi everyone, it's Bea Devine and I've just been for my walk today so I thought it was a good time to do the Job with No Angels for this week. I hope everyone's having a wonderful week so far and it is the week of abundance and I've been noticing things happening um, all over the place, people getting things that they weren't expecting and um, you know not just money, just certain things like one of my friends got um, a bike that he always wanted and <laughs> yes that's you Danny <laughs> and uh, he um, you know, he just thought about it the night before and did a little abundance thing that I'm going to teach you guys about. It's just something that you can do with your crystals. So that'll be in the next um, video. But anyway, I just wanted to um, bring the Domino Angels, even though I'd already done uh, the four weeks, I always like to bring the weeks anyway. And we will see what Angel is working with us. I hope you guys can see okay. Um, I've got a different light on, so, but sometimes I just saw some things flying around me, so maybe you guys will as well as we go through. And thank you all for joining me and um, here we go. I'm just going to close my eyes and shuffle the cards. Okay, here we go. Domino Angels and we got Archangel Raphael. Hope you can see that. Okay. And we've got the next seven days on this. We've got the number seven, or seven just might be a lucky number. Okay, now Archangel Raphael is with you, offering you a chance to put your healing skills into action. It's time to go to the doctor if you need to, or seek advice about getting into the healing profession. You're reminded that you're a born healer, and as such, you may, <coughs> excuse me, you may be called into duty at this time. Believe, <clears throat> believe in yourself and your ability to heal yourself and others. You also have the green light to any situation this week. Thank you, Archangel Raphael. Light a bright green candle to connect. Now, I know there's a lot of people that are going through an awful lot of um, health issues at the moment. There are things coming to the surface. Um, there are people who have had ongoing health issues and have been ignoring these. They're going to the doctor and finding out that it is a lot worse than they might have thought at first. And also there are people with a lot of emotional issues that are coming to the surface. Memories, distant memories, if you've been doing past life um, meditations or um, past life sessions, even people that have been coming with me to do past life sessions and, um, you know, healings, for example. A lot of things come to the surface all at once. And uh, this is what's bringing up, this is what Archangel Raphael is asking you to address this week. He's asking you to, you know, remember that there is assistance there. And also that you can dissolve a lot of the issues that are going on within you. Because a lot of us know what is really going on within us anyway. We, we already know what we, you know, what we think all, all about every day. What we're thinking about, what we're doing every day, how our mind works. We know that. We know what we're doing. And we know what things that we are holding on to. Um, situations that happen to us, people that hurt us, people that are constantly on our butt, back, people that constantly put us down and the negativity that has been in our lives for, for a very long time, we know that. So one thing that I'm getting sort of told to tell you all, you know, Archangel Raphael is working with me as well and this is something that you can do so you would uh, just close your eyes and you will focus on your body from top to bottom so start at the top of your head and slowly just imagine, you know, a, a light moving down almost like an x-ray. And as it's moving down, you are seeing little areas in your life where people are hidden or situations are hidden or negativity is hidden. Just focus on that area. It might be your eyes. It might be your ears. It might, you know, be in your chest, in your lungs, in your throat. Focus on that area and imagine that there is an emerald light there dissolving this for you, dissolving these issues, dissipating these issues, allowing them to be released and uh, go through your body like this and then drink a whole lot of water as well when you're finished, so you're cleansing yourself when you're finished. There, as you start learning to scan your body yourself and ask the angels to help you of course, your guides, your higher self to help you, you start learning how to scan your body, you will find that there's less and less problems going on because you're picking it up straight away and you're getting rid of it. 
if there's a problem that's been long standing, why don't you ask yourself what's the re you know how have you learned from having that issue? What have you learned from that? What are you going to do differently from that? There are some people who like to complain, you know, and they, and they like to have their illness. So I've talked to this about about this to a lot of people. Um, in other words, if if there's nothing wrong with them, then what are they going to do? Who's going to feel sorry for them? And what have they got to talk about? If they're totally healthy, that means that they have to actually get on with life. And a lot of people are in that mode where they're just stuck there. And you know that is their journey. They have to find their way out of it. If not, they will just go through that and be in pain for the rest of their life. I don't believe any of us should be in pain. If you are in a lot of pain, then uh, you know what are you learning from that? Like, what is what is it really for? Why do you, why should you have bad pains in your body? You know, is there something that is recurring mentally in your life that you aren't letting go of? That is the only reason that you would have pain that's there to show you something. Uh, once you learn what that is, it, the pain goes, the pain dissipates. There are people that said a pain is good, you know, you should have pain. Um, well, maybe, you know, if you, if, you, if you keep on doing the same thing and the pain recurs, then you haven't learned your lesson. So that, that would be the only reason why the pain would be there in your body. So just try these different things. Believe that you can be, um, you know, if, if it's part of your life purpose, and um, it's part of what, you, what your soul journey is. You can heal from anything. You know, um, you know, there are things like if you've chosen a journey to be blind, for example, in this life, then the healing may not occur for your eyesight because that is what you've chosen. Um, although I have seen people whose eyesight have returned, you know, to 2020 vision, and mine has gotten heaps better since I've been doing this as well. So, you know, you just have to ask yourself, what, what, you know, what are you learning from things that are going on in your life? Remember that you've got Archangel Raphael with you. There are plenty of angels of healing. Archangel Raphael is just one that we, we know very well. Um, but remember when you're calling on, you know, Archangel Raphael, he brings with him a team of specialists, you know, to help you, to guide you and to assist you. And what that means is also that it's not just an instant fix, but that you are led to the people, the right people to help you. The right things start to come about in your life. If you're interested in getting into the healing profession, you're going to find the right course for you, the right thing for you. And you may start in the wrong course and then suddenly it, it, you say to yourself, well, I don't want to be here, I want to be over here, but it's given you the confidence to do that. So just see in your life areas where you know you are you are constantly doing the same thing, thinking the same thing. Um, if you are overweight, for example, you know you are holding on to something. You are protecting yourself from something. You are feeling guilty about something, and this whole protection layer is around you, um, trying not to absorb any hurt or any pain. Let it all go and see what happens. See how you feel towards food, and you know how your life changes, and all that sort of thing. So just look in different areas of your life and uh, see where there is a healing potential for you. And just know that if you don't feel like you can do that for yourself, there are plenty of people out there that are willing to help you. I can send distant healing for free to anybody who requests it. And I often do that on my Facebook page. And we have a whole list of people. And I just imagine that you are all getting the healing that you deserve and need. And, uh, you know, people just accept it. And that's all what you have to do. Also, if you are feeling within yourself that you want to be a healer, start sending out healing from yourself. Your intention is to heal other people. Just do it. And uh, when they are asking for help, like they are praying for help or something, your bubble of energy reaches them. That's one way I explain things to people is um, even if someone hasn't asked you to help them, your, your intention for them to be well doesn't go unnoticed. Because as soon as they ask for assistance or they ask for help, maybe not for you, you personally, but they're praying to God, your little bubble of energy arrives and um, you know they will feel the difference that this makes. So there you go everybody, Archangel Raphael, the colour is green. It's also a colour of abundance green so we have um, you know healing and uh, abundance with us and it's for the next seven days, there we go. And uh, yeah, now is the time to get into the things that you really want to get into and uh, you know, know that you are inside of yourself a healer and you can do anything that you wish. Just put your mind to it and have a visual visualization of success for yourself. 
Okay, everybody, and uh, until the next video, and don't forget, I'm going to be having some giveaways very soon. So all you need to do is be subscribed, and uh, you'll be uh, counted in in the giveaway crystal giveaways. They happen at random times of the year, and they uh, is something you don't have to pay for postage or anything like that. It's totally free to you. So stay tuned for that one. And I'm also going to make a video about the um, using your crystals for abundance. So that'll be coming up next. So thank you all, and until the next video, it's goodbye from me. Bye, everyone.